OK, thank you. In three, two. Good evening, this is Chairwoman Jane Lichter. I now call to order the meeting of the Board of Education of Baltimore County for Tuesday, June 27th, 2023. Tonight's Board of Education meeting is being held virtually and broadcast through a Microsoft Teams live event. In order to efficiently conduct this meeting, all voting items this evening will be done by roll call vote. The first item on the agenda is the consideration of the June 27th agenda. Dr. Yarbrough, are there any additions or changes to tonight's agenda? I am not aware of any additions or changes to tonight's agenda. Thank you. Hearing none, the agenda stands as presented. Earlier this evening, the board met in closed session pursuant to the Open Meetings Act for the following reasons. To one, discuss the appointment, employment, assignment, promotion, discipline, demotion, compensation, removal, resignation, or performance evaluation of appointees, employees, or officials over whom it has jurisdiction, or any other personnel matters that affects one or more specific individuals. The summary of this closed session and open session information summary can be found on board docs under this meeting board meeting agenda date. The next item on the agenda is personnel matters, and for that I call on Mr. McCall. Thank you. Good evening, Chair Lichter, Vice Chair Harvey, Superintendent Dr. Williams, and soon to be Superintendent Dr. Yarbrough, and members of the board. I like the board's consent for the following personnel matters, retirements, resignations. Do I have a motion to approve the personnel matters as presented in exhibits D1 and D2? So moved, Tom Pumphrey. Thank you. So we had a motion from Ms. Pumphrey and then a second from Ms. Frumpong. Any discussion? May I have a roll call vote, please? Ms. Domanowski? Ms. Dominowski? Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. Thank you. Mr. Young? Yes. Ms. Frempong? Yes. Ms. Hen? Yes. Ms. Harvey? Yes. Mrs. Hassan? Yes. Ms. Pumphrey? Yes. Dr. Savoy? Yes. Mr. McMillian? Yes. Ms. Lichter? Yes. Favor is 10. Thank you. The next item on the agenda is administrative appointments, and for that I call on Dr. Yarbrough. Good evening, Madam Chair Lichter, Vice Chair Harvey, and members of the board. This evening, I am bringing forward the following administrative appointments for your approval. Chief, Exec Chief Operating Officer, Executive Director, Department of Human Resources, Recruitment and Staffing, Executive Director, High Schools, Department of Schools, Director, Teacher Development, Department of Organizational Development and Leadership. Director, Office of Transportation. Two positions, Administration, School Improvement, Department of Schools. Coordinator, Office of World Languages. Principal, Middle River Middle School. Assistant Principal, Newtown Elementary School. And Assistant Principal, Relay Elementary School. Do I have a motion to approve the administrative appointments as presented in Exhibit E1? Madam Chair, may we separate two of the appointments, please, for discussion and questions? Um, yes, which um, two would you like to separate? Thank you, Madam Chair. The Chief Operating Officer and the Director of Transportation. OK. Um, Chief Operating Officer and the Director of Transportation. Yes, please. OK, um, so do I have a motion to approve the administrative appointments ex excluding Chief Operating Officer and Director of Transportation as presented in Exhibit E1? So moved, 10. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second, Pumphrey. Thank you. Any discussion? May I, may I have a roll call vote, please? Ms. Tomanowski? Yes. Mr. Young? Yes. Ms. Frampong? Yes. 
Ms. Hen? Yes. Ms. Harvey? Uh, just a point of clarification. Uh, would we be discussing these in detail in open session as personnel matters? Um, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Right, we can't discuss personnel matters in open session. Is that what you're saying, Ms. Harvey? Right, um, yes, I'm just, I want to make sure before I cast my vote that we're allowed to discuss these specifically in open session. Ms. Howie, are you able to answer us? Good evening, board members. You're not able to discuss qualifications of the individuals or anything that would identify the individuals. OK, thank you, Ms. Hen. Hearing that clarification, are you still asking for the two um, positions to be excluded from the first vote? Yes, ma'am. My questions do not have to do with the individuals. OK, uh, my, thank you. My vote is uh, yes. Thank, thank you, Ms. You. Harvey. Ms. Hassan? Yes. Ms. Pumphrey? Yes. Dr. Savoy? Yes. Mr. McMillian? Yes. Ms. Lichter? Yes. Favor is 10. So the motion passes for the identified positions. At this time, we have two more positions, the Chief Operating Officer and the Director of Transportation. Ms. Hen, what questions did you have? Thank you, Madam Chair. My first question is regarding the Chief Operating Officer position. That is a new position that the board approved just two weeks ago. And I would like to know the, the process by which um, we arrived at this recommendation. Specifically, how long was the position, the position itself posted? Did we conduct a search for this position and any information that can be shared specific to this position, not the individual? Thank you. Dr. Yarbrough, do you want Mr. Homer to, Mr. McCall, I'm sorry, to answer or? Or Mr. McCall, are you still on the line? I am. As a matter of fact, the position, I was actually going back to the posting, but it was posted competitive, competitively and individuals were allowed to apply to the position. Uh, it was based on the qualifications and then forwarded to uh, to the respective hiring office for interviews. So we follow the same process. Thank you. May I ask follow up questions, Madam Chair? Yes. Um, how long was the position posted, Mr. McCall? And how I would many have to look that. Did you receive? I would have to look that up. I'm in the process of doing that now. Thank you. So we did not conduct an external search for this cabinet position. Is that correct? I don't believe we did, but I don't want to talk on behalf of staff. No, that's fine. I'm just trying to look up the first uh, question for you in terms of the uh, the dates. Um, same as we do for the other chief positions as well. This is a chief position. Uh, we post it on our front line, which is also uh, wrapped around with other um, other application front uh, uh, platforms. And I'm just going to it right now. One second. Mr. McCall, while you're looking, I will share. Um, in addition to Frontline, our positions are posted, I believe, on LinkedIn and Indeed. Um, internal and external applicants all have the opportunity to apply for our positions. As you look up the number of days. Yes, it was posted on June 14th and then closed on June 19th. Uh, five days, which is, our, of course, uh, posting um, requirement and we've done this of course because we wanted to make sure the position was filled prior to July 1st as well. Thank so you. For Mr. Five Paul. days. Thank yes, you. My second question was the number of applicants um, and if you had that breakdown internal and external and also is five days our standard for um, chief level positions. This is 
such a significant and important position for us. Um, can you speak to the number of applicants? And if you have that breakdown, it, it just seems like a very short turnaround time. I was not expecting to receive a recommendation so soon after the board approved just two weeks ago, the creation of this position. Thank you. Six applicants applied in terms of internal and external. Two external. Four internal. Thank you, sir, um, for that information. Give, given the small applicant pool, I would like to make a motion that we postpone the vote on this position so that the position can be reposted um, to have an ample applicant pool um, and that the um, process be be reopened to considering consider that pool for a reasonable time as determined by Dr. Yarbrough. Is there a second to miss Ms. I'm sorry, is there a second to miss Hen's motion? I'll second. I also have a question. Dominowski, sorry. <laughs> All right, so a discuss, further discussion. Ms. Dominowski, you had a question? And then if I yes, may speak um, about it. Okay, okay, go ahead, Ms. Dominowski. I just, um, I, I was curious as to why we, the start had to be July 1st. Why the, the rush on July 1st? Ms. Dominowski, if I could speak to that. Part of the yes. work that we've all partnered to do is to fast forward to make sure that we're filling positions and that we are moving quickly on uh, the infrastructure on academic achievement on issues of safety and climate and operations is a large part of that. Five days is our standard process for our chief positions. Um, this position was uh, posted in the same manner that we have posted all of the positions. And as Mr. McCall shared, there were external and internal um, candidates that uh, the team felt um, met the qualifications as well as after the first level interviews by the panel, uh, candidates that were forwarded to me that I was uh, satisfied, satisfied that met the requirements. My only follow up to that would be I know we're working on um, like an internal, you know, audit type of interview, and I'm just concerned that we're rushing this decision before that process has had has had a chance to go through. That's all. Thank you. Ms. Um, Humphrey, you have a question? Madam Chair, may I speak to my motion? I was going to uh, say yes, I'll I... hold my question until Ms. Hen okay. speaks to her motion. OK, I thought you did when you had made the motion, but go ahead, Ms. Hen. Thank you. I'll be brief. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I share Ms. Dominowski's concern. We have such um, expertise in on our transition team that's coming on that I would have hoped to have received their report on what we need in this position um, in terms of reviewing that, in terms of providing input in into this decision. Again, we're we're not talking about just any position. This is a key member of our leadership team. And to say that we posted the position for five days, had two internal app, I'm sorry, two external app external applicants. Um, doesn't feel like we will do our due diligence if we approve this. I agree with Ms. Dominowski, it feels rushed. And again, we have such an amazing transition team that Dr. Yarbrough has assembled. I don't know why we wouldn't want their expertise and input into this decision. And given that it is a new position, um, waiting two weeks to until we receive that or three weeks, I understand the transition team will be working for 21 days, waiting for their report and making sure that we absolutely get the best person for this position um, seems like the minimum we need to do in terms of our due diligence. So thank you. Thank you, Ms. Pumphrey. Uh, my question was answered, but thank you. Ms. Frampong. Well, my question is actually for Dr. Yarbrough. Um, 
you answered part of it because it sounds like you were involved in the hiring of this person as well as there was a panel that was involved. So for you, do you feel that there's any need for more time to find the person that you need for your COO or are you satisfied with the applicants that came through and the person that you ended up selecting as your COO? The latter, I am very satisfied with the applicants that came through and the person, the selection for this evening. Thank you for asking me. Thank you. My question, Mr. McCall, for cabinet level positions, does a superintendent have the right to appoint without an interview process? Yes, ma'am, that is correct. Okay, thank you. Any further discussion? I have one further question, Madam Chair. Mm -hmm. um, Go ahead. Going up to your question, was an interview process conducted um, for this position? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. First level and second level as well. That's standard for us. Thank that you. was Dr. Garbo's choice. She did not have to um, go through the interview process. She could have made the appointments on her own. So may I have a roll call vote to Ms. Hen's motion to delay the vote? Wait a second. You had delayed two of them. Was that discussion, Ms. Hen, for both of them? Um, no, Madam Chair, and I'll restate my motion. It's to delay this vote until the board receives the report of the transition team. So where this is separate than the director of transportation position? Yes, ma'am, the votes are separate. Okay, so may I have a roll call vote on Ms. Hen's motion concerning the chief academic officer position? Ms. Tominowski? No. Mr. Young? No. Ms. Frempong? No. Ms. Hen? Yes. Ms. Harvey? No. Ms. Hassan? No. Ms. Pumphrey? Yes. Dr. Savoy? Dr. Savoy? Wait. wait. Mr. I'm sorry? No. Ms. Pumphrey, Ms. Pumphrey no. did you? Okay. Did you get me? Yes, Dr. For Savoy, thank you. Mr. McMillian? No. Ms. Uh, Lichter? No. Favor is two. So that motion does not pass. Ms. Hen, what is your motion concerning the Director of Transportation? Um, I believe there were questions regarding that position, Madam Chair. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, some of which were answered by Mr. McCall and Dr. Yarbrough. So I believe my questions have been answered for that. Okay, can you restate your motion concerning the Director of Transportation? I have no motion regarding the Director of Transportation. Okay, I believe we'd be looking for a motion to approve. Okay, can we comment any for questions? question? Um, Ms. Domenowski, did you say you had a question? Yeah, I just wanted uh, and I thank Ms. Uh, Frempom for asking the question because uh, as long as Dr. Yarborough has, you know, this is her, this is what she wants and she's had the chance to interview and this is the person that she wants in that position, I, that's all I need to know. Thank you. So we need a roll call vote, please, on the approval of the Chief, <laughs> the Chief Operating Officer and the Director of Transportation. Madam Chair, can those be separated, please? Yes, may we have a roll call vote on the approval of the Chief Operating Officer? Ms. Lecter, who um, made the motion and um, seconded? Which the motion to separate them or the motion no, to? The motion to approve the COO. Okay. OK, we probably didn't. We had a motion to separate. So may I have a motion to vote on the candidate, the approval of the chief operating officer? So moved, Young. Thank you, Mr. Young. May I have a second? Second, Harvey. Thank you, Ms. Harvey. May I have a roll call vote, please? Ms. Domenowski? No. Ms. Young? Mr. Young? 
Sorry. Yes. Ms. Rempong? Yes. Ms. Hen? No. Ms. Harvey? Yes. Ms. Hassan? Yes. Ms. Pumphrey? Yes. Dr. Savoy? Yes. Mr. McMillian? Yes. Ms. Lichter? Yes. Favor is eight. And so the motion passes. So now that was the motion. Okay, now may I have a roll call vote on the approval of the candidate for chief operating officer? Madam Chair, I think we need a motion for that one. We're doing director of transportation. So move, Harvey. Second, Savoy. Okay. Okay, that went a little bit too quickly. So the, those two, the, those two motions were for the director of transportation. Uh -huh. Okay, so now may we have a roll call vote for the direct for the approval of the director of transportation. Ms. Kamenowski. No. Mr. Young. Yes. Ms. Frempong. Yes. Ms. Hen? Yes. Ms. Harvey? Yes. Ms. Hassan? Yes. Ms. Pumphrey? Yes. Dr. Savoy? Yes. Mr. McMillian? Yes. Ms. Lichter? Yes. Favor is 10. So I'm sorry, favor is 9. Okay, so the approval or the motion passes. The approval of Director of Transportation as well as the Chief Academic Officer have passed. As Chief Operating Officer, Madam Chair. Did I say Director? I said Chief Academic Officer. Oh, I don't know why I keep saying that. I'm sorry, my head's always in academics. Thank you, Ms. Frempong. Okay. So we have approval for the Chief Operating Officer and the Director of Transportation. Thank you. Let me just get to the next part. The last item on the agenda is announcements. Um, I'm sorry, Ms. Lichter. Yes. It's the um, recognition of the appointments. Oh, I'm sorry, Ms. <laughs> Dr. Yarbrough. Thank you. Uh, in light of the virtual meeting format, we will proceed with brief announcements of the appointments this evening. All appointees will be invited to join us with their families on July 11th for a live presentation and recognition. Please join me in congratulating the following board appointees this evening. Once the PowerPoint starts, I'll get started. All right, for the position of Principal Middle River High School, Middle River Middle School, William Brown from Assistant Principal of Middle River. Congratulations, Mr. Brown. Charlene Domino from Principal Towson High School to Director, Teacher Development, Department of Organizational Development and Leadership. Michelle Feeney from Principal Arbutus Middle School to Executive Director, Human Resources Recruitment and Staffing, Department of Human Resources. Shanika Georgie from Teacher, Newtown Elementary School to Assistant Principal, Newtown Elementary School. Jennifer Ganaris from Principal, Sparrows Point Middle School to School Improvement Administrator, Department of Schools. Dr. Jess Grimm from Manager Business Operations to Chief Operating Officer, Division of Operations. Bradley Pumajan from Manager of Staffing to Director of Transportation. Catherine Matalonis from Staff Development Teacher, Scotts Branch Elementary School to Assistant Principal, Relay Elementary School. Dr. Kalisha Miller from Principal, Pikesville Middle School to Administrator of School Improvement, Department of Schools. Amy Pritchett 
from Assistant Supervisor of World Languages, Carroll County Public Schools, to Coordinator of World Languages, Office of World Languages. Welcome to Baltimore County Public Schools. And Craig Greed from Principal of Perry Hall High School to Executive Director, High Schools, Department of Schools. Congratulations to all. Congratulations to everyone, and we look forward to seeing you on July 11th. The last item on the agenda is announcements. The board's next meeting will be held on Tuesday, July 11th, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. Thank you for joining us tonight. The meeting is now adjourned. Good evening, everyone. Good are we evening. Not Good evening. Giving, are we not giving board members a chance to comment at the end any tonight? No, this was just that for future board meet for future agenda items. No, this was just for personnel matters, but you can send me your board agenda topic.